Hey everyone, Nathan Adams here again. I am going to show you how to take this previously joined object where we had tabbing into edit mode, two different objects, L, L. So we have these two different objects. Let's say we want to fuse them into something because maybe we want to use them in an animation or something like that. Something where you want to have it where it's a little, um, a little bit more accurate geometrically, right? So I'm going to show you kind of like the hard way to do um, to do your your stuff with this it's gonna be hard but not so much you know so what we're gonna do is that we're going to make uh, some knife cuts here so I'm gonna do K and these don't have to be accurate yet so do that and then enter now we have some joint geometry there we're gonna do the same thing here Okay, you just hold it down, pick a point, enter, there we go. So now we have some of those, and we can also do the same thing right here as well. So we're going to get these together, K, okay. and then there we go. So we just have some of those, and we're going to do the same thing over here, K. Okay. So the K, what it does is it does a knife cut. Enter. All right. So now you have all these things where you also have, oh, yes, and we have uh, one more place where we want to put this as well. So we'll do K. Do the same thing there. Enter. So now you have a bunch of random points where you're like, well, now what do we do with this? Okay. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to take our snaps here. You'll see that I have vertex, and I'm going to include edge by doing a shift, select on that, and face, right? So now we're going to take a look at these. And now what we can do is that we can also get G, Y. Now we have that, and now G, X, and now it'll snap right to that face and that edge, as well as vertices, which is really cool. So now, G, Y. There we go. Now one thing that we can do is that we can also join these by pressing this one to select. And then if we select this one, J. Okay. So now we have that. I'm going to do... G, X. Okay, there we go. Now, I have a few more that I can do here. I can also do the same thing right at this point. K. Alright, and you can orbit around. You can join those together. There we go. And then... We're going to do G, Y. So you're going to find the easiest places to get all your stuff together on these. Let's see. G, Z. Okay. G, X. There we go. So you have a whole bunch of stuff where you can do these, these really cool little tri uh, tips and tricks. X, GX, and as you get more comfortable with it, you'll find that you get faster with it. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to delete your internal vertices. And then get those. All right, and then you can press A to select all of them. M. You can merge these by distance, and then they'll get rid of like vertices that are duplicates. Okay, so this one, and we can also do other methods as well, so that we can do this, shift select M at first. So we have those to kind of help speed up the process at first. You have a whole bunch of cool things that you can do to retopo these, right? And then we can also press control 
when we're selecting these vertices, F, and do those cool things. And then what I like to do is I like to try and keep these as quads. F. All right, so now we have this extraneous vertex that we can do that. Now, let's go and check this with solid. You'll see that we still have some geometry that kind of deleted out here, right? So we can do that. Control, select, and then we press F. And now you can see here that we have complete geometry on all sides where we have quads. These now operate as one uh, object here. If you press L, you have that. So one thing that I will say is that you have a what's called a Boolean modifier that does things here, but it's, you know, I don't trust it as much. And so a lot of times like uh, Boolean, I'll do like if I have like a lot of complex geometry and I need to shrink wrap, but generally I try and retopal things and do it um, so that we can get, you know, joined geometry that's going to stay together here, right? And then it's not going to create a bunch of weird little artifacts. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave comments in the comment section, um, like and subscribe. So thank you for joining me for this tutorial, and I hope you have a great day.